What's up guys, Reminis. Today we're prepared to get a video for a kind of normal gate too. Well, let's get into it. Vital items. For battle items, and a potion, potions, and take a charm. Then supporters take corrosion bomb, and DPS classes take destruction bomb. In basic term, number one, disease meter. Above players, there is a bar like Kaku Satan. Same with Kaku Satan, bar can be filled when you get hit by the boss. When the bar is full, the bar resets and the player becomes unable to move due to harmful buck debuff. The ping when your bar is full and you use Sacred Charm on players who became unable to move. Also, harmful buck debuff cannot be erased by any chance except using a nun. Number 2. Harmful buck debuff. One or two stacks of harmful buck debuff constantly lowers your HP. However, three or four stacks of debuff creates a giant circle which fills the meter of other players inside the circle. 5 stacks of debuff max you automatically attack party members, 5 stacks of debuff cannot be purified, and your character explodes after a few seconds. But therefore, it's important to control your meter by dodging bosses attack. Number 3 I. During A2, red eye is given to one random player, it increases disease meter and moves on to the next player nearby after 20 seconds. If your bar is about to reach the max because of the eye, you can use alt or spacebar to ignore the status issue. The main pattern. 176 tentacles. The boss moves to center and creates a green zone below itself. Soon tentacles and green circles spawn. Dodge green circles and destroy tentacles. The boss is almost immune to attacks during the mechanics so quickly destroy all tentacles. Below 85 tentacles pattern can appear again in random. 160 ghost pattern. The boss moves to center and creates a dangerous zone in the center. As the pattern begins, a skull-shaped object appears in random position, and three ghosts spawn. One red and two green. Two green ghosts just walk around the outer section and fierce players who look at them. So don't look at the eye of green ghosts. The red ghost follows the skull and kills everyone when it reaches the skull. Also, the red ghost runs straight to the skull. The party members must run clockwise together and dribble the skull until the mechanic ends. To sum up, begin at 5 o'clock. Run clockwise together to hand over the skull. Continue the process to prevent the ghost from touching the skull. Simple, right? However, there are some important things you need to know. First, movement speed reduces if you're holding the skull. But press Q to hand it over to another player. Second, gather dangerous circles. During the mechanic, green fog constantly appears to three random players. Soon, the dangerous circle appears below them. This circle increases disease meter a lot and gives big damage. So players with fog should gather to leave circles away from center. To explain why players should gather, danger circles do not disappear and stay the same inside the second ghost pattern which begins at 60. What will happen when players spread out with danger circles? There will be not enough space during the second ghost pattern. Tip. Use invisible cloak. If someone uses invisible cloak, and grabs the skull, the red ghost pauses for a long time. 140. Peekaboo Pattern The boss shows red aura below his feet and creates a giant black hole at center. The giant black hole increases disease meter, so do not step on it. Plus, the donut shape floor explosion comes out for 3 times. The donuts also increase disease meter a lot, but so must avoid them. After 3 donut explosions, the screen turns dark and the boss disappears. Soon, Akan teleports to an aggro player and prepares a big slash up front. This big slash can wash up players, but they won't stay up front. 110 Lantern Pattern the Boss can move to center or not before the lantern pattern. The boss draws a circle and screen turns dark. Behind the boss, there is a shadow. Get behind the boss. During the mechanic, all you need to do is to watch the boss and stay inside the moving shadow. When you fail to hide inside the shadow, you turn into a stone and get killed by the boss. So it's important to know where the next safe zone will be by watching the boss. There are two clues. First, red energy. When the boss charges red energy, the boss shoots a laser spinning clockwise or counterclockwise. If you get hit by the laser, you turn into a stone and get killed. Second, green skulls. Right next to the boss there are green skulls, one to the left and right. If the left skull shines, the boss turns right. If the right skull shines, the boss turns left. 
In other words, the boss turns the opposite. Furthermore, the boss comes back to his place after spinning 360 degrees in total. But there are only three methods. The boss uses one or two methods among them, so memorize them. 90, 90, 180. The boss spins 90 degrees twice and spins 180 degrees opposite. 90, 180, 90. The boss spins 90 degrees and spins 180 degrees opposite to 90 degrees again. 180, 180. The boss spins 180 degrees and spins 180 degrees opposite. Tip. When the opposite skull shines, the boss turns 180 degrees opposite. 85. Second peekaboo pattern. Unlike previous peekaboo pattern, the boss sells force to one random player and prepares the big slash in the beginning. Players gather at 6 o'clock and party leader should use iron in front of the boss as soon as Akana appears, and then hidden effect triggers. Thyrin and Innovate comes out and lands a powerful attack on the boss. Time for 3 DPS. One thing party leader should know is that hidden effect triggers only when it's used in front of the boss. 60. Second Ghost Pattern. Same with previous Ghost Pattern. 30. Third Peekaboo Pattern. Same with first Peekaboo Pattern. 0. Destruction Pattern. At 0, Cousin comes out and the boss moves to center. Soon, green fog covers the outer section and mechanic begins. During the mechanic, there are two things you must do. Destruction and counterattack. If destruction is not done well, the boss recovers 30 HP and gives massive damage on players. You can use time of potion to survive, but it's almost impossible to reach zero again. Then how should we easily destruct the boss? First, supporter throws corrosion bomb as the destruction mark appears. Then party members throw a destruction bomb and use destruction skills except for one counterattack skill. Second, counterattack clones to use Thyrene. During the mechanic clones randomly spawn. Party members can quickly fill Aster Bar by counterattacking clones. To counterattack easier, E1 number time 3, E2 number time 3 plus 1. And counterattack clones that spawn near you. When the bar is full, party leader can use Thyrene for more destruction. Third, Avoid dangers. During the last mechanic, there are some dangers you need to avoid. Tentacles, round explosion, donut explosion, and cross explosion. Destroy tentacles as soon as they appear and dodge different types of land explosions. Plus, sometimes the boss uses imposter pattern. A land explosion follows one random player and gives massive damage at the end. So be careful. Tip. Cover empty spaces for counterattack. When it's your first try playing gate 2, probably some players will die before the last mechanic. Basic formation is P1 number time 3, P2 number time 3 plus 1. However, if there are empty spaces because some players are dead, nearby players should cover empty spaces and counterattack clones that spawn. Aster skill. Let me some Aster skills for party leaders. Using Nana 140 or right after the first ghost pattern. Then use Thyrin at 85 for free DPS timing. However, when party members feel difficult managing their disease meter, just use Inanna instead of Thyrin until the last mechanic. Counterattack pattern. Rush. The boss pauses and rushes. Counterable when the boss pauses. Multiple slash. The boss charges energy and slashes several times. The outer zone explodes. Counterable in the beginning. Basic pattern. Stop back on laser. Boss steps back a bit and shoots laser front. Safe behind the boss. Uppercut and laser. The boss swings up and shoots laser front. Safe behind the boss. Spinning sickle and laser. The boss throws a spinning sickle and shoots laser backwards. Two eye laser. The boss charges green and red energy and shoots laser. Around clockwise or counterclockwise. Slime a laser. A con slams and shoots laser in sector form. Safe behind the boss. Thick laser. A con opens red gate and thick lasers fall on players. It hurts law, so be careful. A lantern slam. The boss flies and slams with a lantern. Then explodes in sour shape. Pizza. The boss moves to center and creates a safe zone. Use time side if you cannot make it. Descaluda. 
Six lines are given to six random players, and two safe zone circles are given to two random players. Dodge the laser and get inside the safe zone. Players with safe zone circles should get away from each other and ping their plates. X. The boss gives damage and attacks the next shape with a lantern. Then a land explodes in the next shape. Green floor. Green floors are given to seven players, and one six or four follows one player. Spread out. Yellow floor. The boss makes one player unable to move, and one sector form follows one player. They don't aim the player who became unable to move. Cross floor. The boss gives cross shape floor to four random players. They leave them away from the boss. Medusa. The big guy appears above the boss. Players run opposite if they look at the boss, so don't look at the boss. This pattern normally comes out after the ghost pattern and peekaboo pattern. Multiple slam. Boss slams front for 6 times and creates a dangerous circle below 2 players. FFB The boss attacks in order. Front, front, and back. Slam The boss slams once. Jump Cyclo turns green and the boss jumps to one random player. The dangerous circle appears below 2 players. Uppercut The boss wings up with Sickle. Slam and shooting skulls the boss slams and shoots skulls. Screw attack. The boss pauses and attacks nearby players spinning. Get away from the boss. Spinning sickle. The boss throws a sickle, then it hovers around the boss. Get close to the boss. That's it for gate 2. Thank you for watching our video, and please feel free to join our channel for more useful information. Thank you.